So this exhibition explores the aesthetic, social and sartorial importance of the kimono. This iconic garment is often seen as unchanging, as a traditional costume. What we're trying to show in this exhibition is that in fact it's always been a very dynamic garment at the heart of a fashion culture that began in Japan in the 1660s and has thrived ever since. We also try to show that although the kimono is seen as quintessentially Japanese, it has in fact transcended cultural and geographic borders and had an enormous impact on global dress styles over the last 400 years. So the exhibition features about 220 objects, as well as kimono and kimono-related garments. It features paintings, prints, photographs, even some film and fashion accessories. It's divided into three sections. The first section, kimono in Japan, focuses on the Edo period, and that's the period from the beginning of the 17th century through to the mid-19th century. This was a period of unprecedented peace and prosperity and urbanization, which saw the growth of big cities, such as Edo itself, the city we today call Tokyo. Within this urban environment, there was a dynamic, vibrant culture evolved of glamour, excitement, entertainment and eroticism, what we call the floating world, ukiyo. And within this world, fashion really flourished. Uh, people, merchant classes got richer, they demanded the latest styles, it was all led by a culture of celebrity, your favourite actor, your favourite courtesan. And then printmakers and kimono retailers, they all sort of exploited these commercial opportunities. It's much like a fashion world as we think of it today. So kimono are straight seamed garments cut from a single bolt of cloth and they're worn by both men and women and they were just wrapped simply left side over right around the body and secured around the waist with a sash called an obi. So they're very different from what we think of as clothes and fashion in the West, where we look to the cut and construction of our clothing to tell us how fashion changed. We emphasise certain parts of the body, a slim waist, a nice breast or whatever. This is irrelevant. The body is really irrelevant in uh, Japanese dress. The focus is all about the surface of the garment and it's through a choice of pattern and decoration and fabric that the wearer would say something about their gender, their, their class, their wealth and their taste and their fashionability. So in the v &A and in most museums in the world, kimono are always shown on T-shaped stands because that's the best way that we can really appreciate the beautiful designs and of course we can protect what are actually quite vulnerable and fragile objects. But the disadvantage of that is that we see kimono often as two-dimensional works of art. So we have to remember that they're three-dimensional. They would have changed and moved as the wearer moved. So what we've tried to do in the exhibition, perhaps for the first time in any exhibition, is to show historic kimono on mannequins where we can. Um, this has been done thanks to the skill of my colleagues at the V&A in our textile conservation section who've been able to mount these garments successfully just to give people a real sense of what they look like when they were worn.